Guys, we went from this. All the way to this. guys welcome back to the channel as you can see I have the Mustang behind me so today I think what we're gonna try to do is get the front ends somewhat aligned on this we're gonna get the fenders aligned with the door gaps the uh, hood aligned with the fender gaps and um, probably toss the headlights in the header panel get it looking like a car minus a front bumper and a windshield cowl because I don't have either one of those uh, I've been shopping around for the front bumper. Cobra bumpers are actually really hard to come by nowadays. Uh, they used to be very easy, but now they're kind of a pain in the ass to find. I could find the V6 and GT all day, but Cobra is definitely difficult to find. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hopefully get somewhat decent of gaps here. Um, I wanna get the car mostly together and uh, I can register and insure it then, you know, obviously clean it up. As you can see, it's dusty as hell, it's been sitting. So guys, I, I have it running just for a little while. I haven't started in a while, um, but pretty much what we're going to be doing is we are going to be getting these gaps nice. Right now, I actually can't open my driver door unless I pull the fender up. Um, it's just not aligned right, no big deal. Um, we'll probably have to wallow out some of these holes, uh, especially the front ones with the two front ends. We're gonna have to hollow those out a little bit, just get a nicer fitment here. Uh, make it so I could play around with the fitment a little bit better. Uh, same concept on this side. Wallow out the two front holes. I might do the back also just so I have a nice amount of uh, room to wiggle it around. Um, I do have a... Th this side fits a lot better than the other side because I already started doing this side. But um, I do have a universal shim kit off of Amazon. It has all different size shims. I know for a fact we are going to need a ton of shims on this front end just because it's a tubular front end. So I know that stuff is probably not gonna line up exactly perfect. You know, it is what it is. Um, if I do have time today, I would like to get my hood pins in. This way I could actually close the hood down, lock it and everything. That'd be nice. But other than that, I mean, as far as you guys seen this car last time, everything is still good. Uh, the wiring harness, the radiator, the front ends, the sway bar, everything is still how I left it. Everything's actually together. I mean, technically speaking, if I really wanted to, I could take these fenders off, the hood off, and actually drive this car. It does run and drive, but I want to at least get a front end somewhat here, um, mainly headlights and stuff, so it's actually street legal. And then uh, we'll go from there with the front bumper and everything. Again, fitment on a front bumper is a lot easier than what I am have to do today with the fenders, the hood and everything, especially because we chopped the nose off and did a tubular front end. So it's just gonna be a little bit complicated to get everything to line up nice, but we'll get it done and you know, we'll go from there. So as you can see, I removed the driver's side fender. Now I know it seems like we're working in like reverse guys, but I needed to take this off for a couple of reasons. Um, for one, I need to wallow out these holes just ever so slightly, just to get a little bit more adjustment on the fender. Um, another thing too is, I actually watched the YouTube video because I'm not a body guy, and honestly, I'm terrible at this. So pretty much what the video I watched told me was to adjust this back bolt up top first, get a good gap at the door, um, adjust that to where it fits nicely there, and don't worry about any of the other bolts he said just do one at a time so do that one then do your bottom bolt and start your front one with um like just snug it don't like tighten it down um the reason he said to do that is because you'll get a nice gap back here where it'll hold the fender by the two bolts the one up top and the one at the bottom and then you'll bring the hood down and you'll see how that gap fits with the hood and everything. Now, this is a new hood also, so I'm probably going to have to adjust this hood um, 
I would think I'm going to have to adjust this hood, but it's very important that all of this lines up the way that I want because it's going to be the end result, end result for my hood pins. So I cannot put those until everything else is aligned and has good gaps. So I'm going to get working on that. I'm going to wallow out these holes first. Then I'm going to put, like I said, the bolt in the back, get a nice gap up top here, and then I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And then I'm going to come around and go to the front. We're going to close the hood down, check the gap. Um, I'll probably pick you guys back up after the fender is aligned decently, and I'll show you guys what I'm working with. All right, guys, so I do have good fitment along the door all the way down. The uh, door opens and closes without hitting the fender. It was hitting the fender before, as you can see. So now we're going to move on to adjusting the hood gap, that type of stuff. Um, more than likely, I'm going to have to adjust this hood because... So the two front end right now, the fender's actually kind of pulled outward. Like I had to like pull it a little bit to put the bolt in. And I really had to open these holes up a lot. As you can see, this one isn't even like and like it's not near where it needs to be right now so probably gonna have to do the same thing i did with this one and kind of make like a slot rather than just a hole but again not a big deal um it's a track car guys i'm not worried about it being like flawlessly or anything you know this car is meant to go fast and that's what it's going to be meant for um if i was worried about like a show car or something like that i would have never done a two front end on it this is literally my, you know, I want to hop in this thing. I want to go to the racetrack. I want to race. And that's about it. So, yeah, I'm going to go and continue to align stuff. Um, like I said, the fender gap's great. I'm very happy with the way the gap turned out. It's very consistent all the way down. So more than happy with that. Um, I don't normally do body work. So this is definitely a really big challenge for me. But, I mean, just taking my time and, you know, little by little figuring out some tricks here and there um as far as what i said in the last clip about just putting the top and bottom bolts that might work on some cars but on this car i have two bolts in the in the uh the door jam too so i had to start those also because it didn't put the fender in the right spot so i like originally aligned it and it was off when i put those bolts in but now the four bolts in the or two in the bottom two in the door and one up top they're all tight already so that gap is set so now we just pretty much move on to the front we're gonna have to hollow out a couple holes that one this one is more than adequate for what we need i already slotted it but i'm probably going to grab like a dremel and just slot this a little bit more and then we will uh start aligning the the hood to the fender so should be exciting hey okay, guys so one side is done 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 put the last bolt in the center everything's aligned perfectly i mean as best that i can get it it's aligned the uh, only thing that's a little bit iffy is the fact that the fender to hood, the fender is slightly higher. It's not a crazy difference, but like right in here, the fender's like a little bit high up. Again, I can only do so much. This has a tubular front end, guys. Like it's not going to be like it was factory, but it, it does look pretty good. Um, like again, like I said, I'm not going for a show car. That's for damn sure. If I was going for a show car, I'd go buy myself a Terminator Cobra, probably an 03 Sonic Blue. This is literally going to be a track car. So again, just as long as it's there, it lines up somewhat. I'm more than happy with that. The door gap's actually like beautiful though, which is crazy because if you guys remember, the driver's side is the one that was crashed. So I'm happy that everything still lines up relatively good. Um, you know, we'll know a lot more when we get this on the alignment rack at work, but I'm about to do this side. I'm going to do this side off camera. I'm just going to show you guys the end result after I do this side. I also have a snap bolt in the bottom, so I'm contemplating what I want to do. Um, I might just drill a completely separate hole to, um, you know, utilize a, a different bolt or something because I really don't want to sit there and drill that out. Um, it's not going to be fun. So let's see what happens. But again, this side's done. So it's time to move on to the other side. Um, also too, I lined the, the hood up nice with the fender at the end and up here, it lines up pretty good. It's a little bit off, but that's to be expected. It is an aftermarket hood and this isn't a Cervini's hood guys. So it's definitely like a cheaper, you know, hood. 
but even here i made sure the hood was square you know we line up pretty good here so we'll see if that changes when we fully align this fender but this one is really not that far off it hits a little bit when i open the door but that's mainly due to that one bolt not being there so we'll see you guys we'll see all right guys so both fenders are lined up exactly where i need them gaps all look good um keep in mind i'm probably not doing the hood pins today those are going to adjust the height of my hood so right now my hood's a little bit low on this side and on this side it's actually pretty good but on this side it's a little bit low so the hood pins have like a washer on the stud that you can raise and lower the hood where you want it to be um i just got done putting the header panel on and i'm about to toss the headlights in show you guys what it looks like with the headlights in and um we'll go from there well guys here she is here she is headlights are in cables down there for the fog lights same thing on that side uh clearly i don't have fog lights i don't have a front bumper at the moment um i do have the snake in the car for the grill i'm not running the grill that i used to run on this car i think it's stupid looking um i don't know why young dylan liked it so much but dude <laughs> it looks like a mustang again it's crazy uh, it took me about maybe three to four hours to get to this point. I don't think I'm going to do the hood pins today. Um, I probably could, but I want to just like focus on those because I'm going to be cutting like like ovals out for the actual like locking mechanism. So I definitely want to make sure that that is done properly and lined up right. So I think this is going to be my end point for today. If I do decide to do the pins, I'll put a clip at the end of the video of actually like the hood pins in, but I don't think I'm doing them today, but this is where we stand guys. Everything looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with most of the gaps. The hood's a little bit finicky because it's a cheap hood. Um, not really much I can do there. Maybe when they do body work on this car, they can get it a little bit better. But I'm just trying to get it to a point where I can get it over to my job, do a wheel alignment on it, and um, we could take it on like short trips, you know, get some license plates and stuff on it, and we could drive it around town. Uh, I don't want to go far with it because, for one, it was sitting for five years. Uh, two, I want to redo the whole entire front suspension, including the K member. Just because it was through an accident, I don't trust it. If I'm going to be doing over 100, 120 miles an hour in this car, which I will be in Mexico, um, I don't want that stuff on the car. So it just kind of sketches me out. I'd rather just change it, replace it, and be done with it. But this is where we sit, guys. So she looks absolutely beautiful, though. I mean, minus the paint. But <laughs> we have a uh, black, red, white, and we're going to have a blue deck lid. So... It's gonna be an interesting color combination but maybe we could just scuff the rest of the car down for the time being and uh maybe just flat black everything just make it look like you used to that'd be pretty cool but yeah this is where we sit and this is where we're gonna sit until i decide i'm gonna do the hood pins uh content on the jeep is coming soon if you guys missed that video check it out that was last week's video big big plans coming for the jeep um not really anything on the Subaru. Actually, they are sending my side skirts out now, so there will be a video on that, but that's not anything crazy. Like what's going on with this and the Jeep. The uh, the Jeep is going to be absolutely badass when it's done, but the Mustang, this is where we sit. And yeah, I wanna say thank you to all the subscribers on the channel. We're rounding 700 subscribers. Probably, you know, I have a goal of the end of the year, thousand subscribers. I think we're actually going to hit that goal, guys. The channel has been growing very, very quickly, um, considering what it was in the past. It's growing a lot quicker. We're we're killing it. We're working on everything. We're getting shit done. You know, no more playing around. Definitely, uh, you know, support the channel. Drop comments on the videos. Like likes on the videos. You know, I always answer your comments. Every single one of you. Any questions for me? Drop them in the comments below. You will get an answer from me. I promise you. Uh, if any of you are local, you want to meet up, maybe I can meet up with you in the Jeep or something, definitely hit me up, Instagram, DM, message me. I'll be more than happy to check your builds out, see what you got, and uh, maybe we could do like a collab or something, put you on the channel. So yeah, until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video next week, 12 p.m. Friday. Peace.
suspects are in custody this afternoon, now facing charges after a police-involved shooting in Newark overnight. After the overnight shootout between officers and at least two gunmen, people nearby describing the scene around midnight as a tense standoff. Investigators say Newark officers have been patrolling the area when they confronted the suspects, one of them pointing a gun at the officers.